Look, I was in grade seven in 1954 mm -hmm. when desegregation took place in the schools of Nova Scotia. even though it had never existed in New Glasgow schools. Mm -hmm. See, that's very important too. The first school that I taught in, in 1961, mm -hmm. was a de facto segre segregated school. Mm -hmm. They were still there. Mm -hmm. Anyway... Um, so when you were in school, they created a bubble where they, they treated you equally, they treated you with respect, and they had a lot of high expectations for you. Exactly, exactly. Now, like I say, within that bubble, you know you're going to get your little... Mm. Mm. Like what? Yeah. Like you, you, you alluded to something, but what? Name one experience within that bubble. Right? Oh, well, I, it was 1954. Um, Christmas. Just before Christmas, they were casting a play in the school, mm -hmm. and uh, my teacher, uh, in, in English, my English teacher, of whom I really was a pet, mm -hmm. um, insisted that I go and audition for this, or just had to, because you know she could tell from uh, at that time in the school curriculum you had. Uh, uh, oral composition. Mm -hmm. You had to stand up once a week in front of the class and deliver. Mm -hmm. you, you know, that was part of the course. And so she decided that I should do this. Now, she knew you were an actor. She, she could knew, tell. Yeah, yeah, and she also knew that I had made my debut the year before when I was in grade six. Mm -hmm. and that had kind of gotten around. Uh, what was your debut? What would you do? Oh, well, it was a Christmas play, and I can't remember what it was, but I do remember that uh, I was a town crier and that uh, he had to walk around, uh, you know, every hour ringing the bell. Mm -hmm. And at this particular, the, his, 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 his entrance line was seven o'clock and all as well, but sung da 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 da. da. And I you remember very, 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 very well. You stole the show. Uh, well, mm -hmm. it. it, it it really was when I decided, and knew, not decided, knew that's what I was going to do. Of course. I, I, I knew it. And the reason I knew it was because I, while I was doing all this stuff, my brain just divided itself for a minute and two, and I'm looking at the people there. Well, I'm looking at my mother, my mm -hmm. aunt, and my other aunt. I'm looking at them, and something hit me so strongly. They're looking at me, and they know it's me, but they, they think I'm someone else. Hmm. That's what went through my head. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, and for some reason, just sort of knowing, like, just, it's a knowing that, wow, that's a, that's a powerful thing. That's, mm -hmm. that's a big thing, mm -hmm. like, you know? And I liked it. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Not that it was centering me, not that. What I liked was the comfort that I felt. Mm -hmm. And as opposed to saying things, I could think 